this our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. Are you ready? Oh, sorry. And I'm Richard. <laughs> from Nerdy Chic Universe. the head over here. Jump the gun again. From Nerdy Chic Universe. Um, I'm just guest starring today. Hello, everybody. So on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official look trailer for City of Lies. Now, for those who watch a lot of television, like we do, you already know about Unsolved, uh, which is the, on the new USA show Network. on USA Network, yeah. where the first season tackled the, uh, the, the deaths of B.I.G. and um, Tupac. Yeah, and it's got, it, got, it stars uh, Josh Duhamel uh, in Josh it. Josh Duhamel in it, and... Oh, that's good. He's getting work again. And it's nice. Yeah. But here, this is a movie that's been worked on way before this movie, this, that show started production. It stars Johnny Depp and Forrest Whitaker. It is from the director of... Uh, the Infiltrator and the Lincoln Lawyer and Runner Runner. That was the other one I forgot to mention. Uh, that one was an alright movie. Yeah. Um, and it's essentially it's essentially the same premise as the series. Like a cop goes, a detective essentially investigates the The two murders. cops. The two cops. The two, right. two cops essentially go investigate the murders of Tubac and Biggie because they believe they're connected. Yeah, and this is, uh, they're the only ones who, who got, who've gotten so close to figure out who it was. Pretty yeah. Much. They were so, it's so close, but they, it was still considered unsolved because they couldn't bring any so, yeah. so much proof to the table. Yeah, they. Yeah, it was like, like they they know who did it, but they don't have enough evidence. They don't to have to prove it. To prove it, prove it. So uh, let's just dive right into this because it seems very interesting. I think the ongoing joke is that it was Suge. Yeah, that's the, that's still the ongoing uh, thing that is the saying it, it, it was Suge Knight, pretty much. Uh, but anyways, besides that, let's just dive right into the official trailer for City of Lies. So, here we go. I wonder what a city of truths will look like. Shot Biggie. Watch the full trailer now. We were already doing that. I hate those. Biggie. Biggie. 20 years ago, when you were the lead detective on the Big Small case, right? I'm a journalist. Oh, he's this case so journalist to? talking to the lead detective about the investigation. A murder like that only goes unsolved if the police don't want to solve it. I've seen one book. Yeah, we saw the 20 plus years and not one arrest. Are you guys hearing two pop shooters were hired by Biggie's entourage? Biggie didn't have two pop camera. The facts point to something more here. Yeah. Well, if we could pull the connection between cop and Biggie's murder, it would not only break the LAPD, it would ruin the city. showing when it happened here this is like all after and he's the journalist is coming in and trying to help him put the rest of the pieces together pretty well it's and it's doing the uh, split timeline thing yeah it's, that's what they're doing it's, ju it's jumping between in basically now when Johnny Depp and the journalist played by Forrest Whitaker are basically trying to kind of bring the story back the out. he's trying to retrace his steps of what while what showing flashbacks to, while showing flashbacks to while Johnny Depp was actually working the case yeah. at the time. Exactly. Like, and that's why I said in the, the Unsolved one, pretty much on USA, that's showing just only during, right after it happened, what they did, stuff like that here. It only that's followed the past segment here, 
Which it's going, one? it's bouncing back and forth. And it looks good for the most part. I think um, it's definitely one of those to try and go up for Oscar contention kind of movies. Yeah, you that's you get about. that feeling from I, it. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I thought this trailer had a certain smell to it. It's like Johnny Depp it's, is. It smells like Oscar bait. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> it's Johnny Depp is character actoring the shit out of it, like he did for um, Black Mass. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I can definitely tell that's what they're going for. I mean, it looks good. I mean, it could be bad for all I know, but for as far as I can see in the trailer, it does look good. It, it looks good. It looks like they're doing a good job at it. Um, I wonder if they got the, the, the play again. Though I'd say, honestly, a bit early in the year for Oscar bait, guys. Oh, you know, sometimes, yeah. we, sometimes it's a rarity. Because sometimes you could, you could tell, but there are times when you can't. And don't forget, this is September 7th that comes no, out. No, no, yeah. no. I, no, no I, that's what I'm saying. September 7th, it's like, geez. Usually they try to save all the Oscar bait for December and stuff. Yeah. I mean, look at Right now they're still trying to push for Black Panther to, for Academies or, uh, as well. Yeah, right I, I, yeah I know. But, but that's because... As Black Panther's a really good movie, and it definitely deserves some kind of recognition. But yeah. part of the problem with with the Oscars is that you know most of the voting base are just so old they can't remember anything past three months ago. Yeah, so pretty it's much. like so that's what I'm saying. Ooh, man, you guys chose a pretty bad time because by the time voting comes around, they're not even going to remember. Well, that's what yeah, Even then, pretty much, it still like, looks good. Oh, 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 oh yeah, right. That, yeah, I remembered that. Movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But for the most part, this looks good. Um, it has a strong cast to it overall, but. I don't know, my, probably my only minor worry is that it's from somebody who's done, like, good, decent to, like, pretty man movies. So hopefully maybe, Someone you who know, doesn't exactly have a consistent record on exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have, like, a top-notch record. So hopefully this does well, at least. I'm really hoping for a while because, you know, this is a good story to work oh, with. Well, it's a matter say. of just shoot it, how they're shooting it. How the story goes and how they set it up, you know, yeah. with all of them. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, it, you know, it looks like the writers know what they're doing and the principals, you know, the, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, it's Forrest Whitaker and Johnny Depp, you know, when, when they come in and actually come to play, a damn, do they come to play? Yeah. yeah. Have they ever started a movie together, or just like their first film together? If I'm not um, right. I think it's their first film. I don't think they've ever worked on a film together. Him and if, a, if they Johnny if Depp. they have worked on a movie together, they weren't they weren't both the leads. Yeah, they weren't both the leads, probably. Oh, well, the guy's name, the one we will... Oh, he hasn't seen one. That's Peter Green. Yeah. That's Peter Green. He does. He always plays a good villainous look, pretty much. Every yeah, time. he's always I, had that. You mean, you mean the one who was all, like, I can't comment on... Yeah, yeah, that yeah, guy. yeah he's, always, he's the police Thank officer God. who says, I can't comment yeah, on that. Well, because you also said, like, oh, hey, it's that guy. When he was all like, get out of the car. Oh, that's oh, yeah. the guy from who played Fusco in um, Person of Interest. Person of Interest, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and the other guy we said always, oh, uh, the the bearded white, the white beard white dude, the white hair. That's the, Zan the, the Zander, chief. That's Xander Berkeley. But yeah, that guy's pretty clearly the chief or the commissioner. You know, it's something like that. Something like that. Yeah, but he's, over, he's the boss. But overall, it, it looks good, and hopefully, hopefully it does another, well. Hopefully, we get another good trailer. You know, uh, you know, maybe a, a simplistic you know, type we, of trailer. We got plenty. We got plenty of time until the release. There's yeah, they got plenty they, of time. They're, they give us they're, they're gonna put another trailer out. They will, of course. Yeah, definitely. So, and other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else who comes to talking about dramas, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought about this trailer. Um, if you've been following the Unsolved one, pretty much, uh, the, have you been enjoying it? And after seeing this trailer, is it something that you wouldn't mind checking out just to see what you know what they dive, dive in a little bit more with? Let us know in the comments down below. Um, uh, put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So, oh, go on. Um, yeah, and if you want to check out anything that we do over on Nerdy Chic Universe. <laughs> The link is down in the description below, and we hope to see you all there. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And, and I'm Richard. And this has been a very city-filled episode of SRV. See you later. Johnny. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.